Dan Sam here, I just want to show you um, a thing that I've just come across. Well, not just come across. So this is a, a rental property that we've been uh, that, that we've been renting for about ten years, and uh, tenants have left, and we want to turn it into a um, an SA. So they were they, they'd sent a um, a letter in saying that um, they'd got a leak in, in uh, on chimney breast. And we've been doing other stuff. Excuse me. <coughs> what I sneeze. That's sweet uh, ammonia. I think I'll give it away. So they thought they'd got a leak, and uh, they said, "What are leaking in?" And when I first came and I had a look at it and I saw photos, I thought that it's a party wall, and I thought that the, the next to a neighbour's might have had a pipe that's been dripping, or there's a bathroom there, or even. Uh, pipes above it, where wardrobes were. We had to look outside and their bathroom is on the other side of the building, so only thing that it could have been was um, a radiator or something. You can't really see it there, um, because I've, I've cut it out. You might be able to just see it on top. So you can see it looks like a watermark in, in, in um, wall ceiling angle. Now what I've done, I've just cut it out now to see what it is, to see if there were a pipe there or, or somewhere. And, and what's happened is, this has all dropped down. So you've got your chimney here, and there'd have been a, um, a, a solid fuel fire in old days, old and done days, and uh, there'd have been a, like I say, it's been blocked up, in fact, this reminds me, I'm gonna to have to put a, a vent in there. But, but up here, the, the, I think they've done some work on chimney at some point in the past, before I bought it. And then the red floorboards up, and they've just swept all um, soot down side uh, uh, joist there. So joist runs across the wall, and I've just knocked plasterboard off. So somebody's swept all rugged, all soot and everything. Probably what they've dug out at fire. And that's all been against that wall. And it's been wet. So, so it's, it's wet in, inside here. Um, I'm just, uh, it's thrown because there's a, there's a phone's ringing. I can see it phone's ringing. But I've got it on air, I ain't got it on airplane mode and it ain't stopped video, so it's like, I'm a bit chuffed about that. But I will, I will, I will look and see if it did stop video. So when that's got wet, it's uh, salt, because soot is sulphate, soot, it's got sulphates in it, sulphate salt in it. They've migrated to the surface all along that angle there. And when it's been humid in here, when they've, when they've been doing whatever, that's got wet as moisture's um, diffused through fabric and it's shown up as a wet patch but all the way across there and there's a bit as you can see it here so there's a bit on the wall there next to chimney breast and there were a bit around here so what I'm planning to do we'll over that out and then clean it up but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dry flex in wall angle. So a big piece from there to there that comes on ceiling. Um, I'm going to cut it, because it joists about that far in. So I'm going to cut it along joist halfway. I'll put a uh, plaster board in and then we'll do that up at top. And that'll sort it out because it'll create a barrier and then we'll skim up at top. So I just sort of do this small video just to show you what I'm gonna do and just to see whether you come across out like that. So please subscribe and please like this video because that means that uh, we'll get a further reach and we can give more value to more people. So if you got some value from that, do us a favor and send us uh, on his way. See you later.